Hi guys, it's the Power BI guy here and today we're going to go over the DAX function all and we're really going to deep dive into how this function works and depending on what we reference, how it can affect the outcome of our results. For example, right now we have the total sales all measure. If I bring in subcategory, we might notice that the results change. Why is that? We're going to cover that in that in this video and really try to understand the DAX behind um, all and how it works and what how it affects the outcome. So without further ado, let's start this video. Now, essentially, all functions, so anything that falls under the all group, allows you to remove context within a calculation. Now, let's actually understand what I mean by this. So if we take a look at this table, let me remove the subcategory column and we can see that I have the category column and this very basic total sales sum measure. Now let's ignore this table for a second and let me put this sum measure into a card. Immediately what we can see that this has given us a total value because it's a sum. Now this does not have any context or any evaluation context right now and it's not got any filter context. But if I convert this to a table and then bring in the category column, we can see, so as it is in this table, so it's the exact same table, as we can see that this measure, this sum, has now converted and split accordingly. This is being this has been filtered and is being evaluated differently because we've added this category column. And then if I add subcategory, we're going to see that that very same sum measure that had no additional context is now being split up based on the two columns that we've brought. So think of it like this, that these two, these columns that we brought in are additional context. Now, the all function allows you to remove context within a calculation. So we can say, ignore the context that we've brought in here and just give us that sum value. And let's actually go ahead and demonstrate that. So what I'm going to do is create a new measure and then let me call this total sales all. I'm going to use calculate. I'm going to use that total sales sum measure. Then I'm going to write all and then I'm going to reference the category column. So this is the column that we're telling, we're telling within the all function, remove this context if we bring that in. Now let me bring that into the table, that function that we just wrote. And what we're gonna see here is that the total cell sum, so that sum here that initially was just a total figure, and then if we brought in the column, it was splitting our data. Using the all function within this calculation, we've told Power BI, calculate the total cells and then remove filters, because all is essentially re remove filters, remove any filters that the product category column may bring in. So as we can see, we've brought the product category column in, therefore it's going to ignore the filters. Now, if I bring in that into a card, if I bring that, that all function into a card, we're going to see it gives us that total. And if I now bring in, instead of bringing the category column, using the all function that we did before and bring in subcategories, we're going to notice something. This isn't working how we how how you might think it would. Why, why, why is it that the total sales all now is not splitting this data or is not doing this, uh, the same action here? Now, the reason is because in our all measure, we reference the product category column. We are saying remove any filters that the product category column could apply to that calculation. But in this visual here, we have not got the category column, we've got the subcategory column. So therefore, it is splitting our data accordingly. Now, what happens if I change this to subcategory? Product subcategory. There we go. And now you can see it is duplicating the data. Well, not duplicating, it's removing the filter from this subcategory and then it is just evaluating the total cells. So it's just doing the total cells, removing the filters from subcategory, therefore we're having this go across every single row. Now, this is very important what I'm going to cover now. This is very important to understand. Let me delete this. 
And in this total sales all measure, so let's bring back in the subcategory column. We can see because we have told it to remove subcategory, it's, it's ignoring the filters. What happens within this measure if I bring in another column within this table when we've only referenced subcategory? So let me bring that in. And immediately you're going to know to notice that this is behaving slightly different. It is ignoring some filters because we have the duplicate of the cell sum measure, but it's happening multiple times. Now let's think about this logically due to what we did. This measure currently is referencing ignore the subcategory filter. So what we've brought in here, the subcategory column, it is ignoring that split. So it's removing that filter, but we haven't told it to remove the category filter. So if we demonstrate this and I remove subcategory, we can see that 741 represents furniture, 719 represents office supplies and 836 technology. But if I bring in the subcategory column where we've said ignore this, so don't apply this context, we can see that the total cell sum measure is ignoring that. And But the reason why it's duplicating this, well, why the sum might be duplicate, it looks like it's duplicated is because if we even remove that measure, when you do a, when you add another additional column, the subcategory is one category can have multiple subcategories. So naturally, this the, the the dynamic of how Power BI works is that it's going to do split this data, and then if I bring in that measure once again, total sales sum all, we can see that for furniture, it's going to ignore the context here and then just repeat that value. So that is how all essentially works, is that it removes the context that you specify. But you don't have to just specify individual columns. We can reference the table. So we could literally just say, ignore any filter that comes from the product category, the product from the product table. So now you can see that it's duplicating that, um, not duplicating that value, but it's ignoring any context that we've brought in. So if I even... So you might be wondering, when do we use all? And let's actually run for an example of a situation where you might use all. So let's take a look at the table. I have brought in a percentage breakdown column. Now let's look at the measure. This isn't how you would write it best practice, but this is just so you can understand. So we have the total sales sum. So we have the total sales sum. And then what we're doing is we're dividing that by the total sales all. So let's actually de demonstrate what the calculation is doing. If we bring in the total cell sum measure, this is still accounting for the context. So it is going to split our data. So if we look at the, div the divide, is total cell sum. So the calculation is the sum. And then with this context, it's going to split that. And then in the all, so the next part of the evaluation is in the all, we want to ignore any context. So if we bring that column in here, it is going to, the first portion, it is going to calculate the total sum it's going to account for the, for the split, so it's going to split the data. Then it's going to divide that by the total cells with the all, where it's ignoring all of the context. And then if we do that calculation, turn it to a percentage, that is um, going to give us the percentage breakdown. Now, I've done that in a separate, separate measure in order to make it easier to consume. But I could actually do that within one measure. So right now, what I could do, and this is this is more when you understand more DAX concepts, but I'm going to do a divide the total cells. So I need let me bring in a comma so you can see this. Total cells sum. And then if I enter that, let me break take that away. So this is the measure that we just rolled. So what we've done is We've said divide the total cells sum with no context by the total cells all product. Where the, so the calculate function is saying calculate the total cells but ignore the context of the product table. And if I bring that in here, which it is, it is going to be a percentage breakdown of that column. And because we've referenced because we've referenced the whole table, if I bring that in any column is going to split our data.